Ever wondered what happens to your body during a fall from an extreme height? Let's take a look. Imagine stepping off a skyscraper. As you begin to fall, gravity pulls you down, accelerating you faster and faster every second. In just a few moments, you're not just falling, you're plummeting. Your speed increases dramatically until you hit what's called terminal velocity. This usually happens at around 120 miles per hour. At this point, the force of air resistance pushing up against you equals the force of gravity pulling you down. Your speed stops increasing and you fall at a constant rate. You'll likely find yourself in a stable, belly down position, almost like you're skydiving. The physical effects are intense. The wind is so strong it can make your skin and clothes ripple and flap wildly. Your eyes will tear up from the sheer pressure of the air rushing past. Internally, your body is in panic mode. Your brain floods with adrenaline, your heart rate skyrockets, and you experience a sense of time slowing down, a phenomenon known as tachypsychia. So what about the landing? It all depends on the surface. Hitting concrete is almost always fatal due to the massive, instantaneous deceleration. Water might seem softer, but at terminal velocity, it's like hitting a solid wall, causing severe internal injuries. Your best, albeit slim, chance of survival is landing in a dense forest or deep snow, where the impact can be cushioned and spread out over a slightly longer time. Upon impact, the sudden stop sends a devastating shockwave through your body. Organs can rupture and bones shatter. The brain can slam against the inside of the skull, causing catastrophic damage. It's a grim picture, but it highlights the incredible forces involved. Yet, miracles do happen. There are rare, documented cases of survival. Vesna Vjelovic, a flight attendant, survived a fall of over 33,000 feet after her plane broke apart. She landed on a snowy, wooded hillside, which likely saved her life. These stories are exceptions, not the rule, often involving a perfect storm of lucky factors. This is why safety gear is so critical. Parachutes work by dramatically increasing air resistance, slowing your descent to a safe landing speed. In other scenarios, things like airbags and safety nets are designed to increase the time it takes for you to stop, reducing the deadly force of impact. So, from the initial acceleration to the final, critical impact, a fall from a great height is a battle against the laws of physics. It's a powerful reminder of our own fragility. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more animated explanations.